Hello and welcome to this citation video. I will show you how to identify SIMS library resources to help with citations, format MLA 9th edition citations of web pages. Before we get started, I want to show you how to find the SIMS library guide for citing sources. Simply go to the library homepage and select the Research Help tab. From there, select the Citing Sources link. The MLA tab will link you to the official MLA handbook. We'll use that more later in the video. Now, let's focus on citing web pages. Don't be scared of citations. It's as easy as following a recipe. Just decide what you're cooking, gather the ingredients, and combine them into the final dish. When we use library databases, gathering ingredients is easier. Databases organize all the information into labeled sections, like authors and source. If you're not sure what each label means, you can ask a librarian for help. But with online sources, our ingredients aren't organized. The exact positioning or labeling can differ between sources. Sometimes the information we need isn't listed. That means you'll need to look carefully for any information and also prepare for when it may not exist. In our two examples, we'll look at common locations to find needed information and what to do if some is missing. For our first example, we'll cite a web page that has most of its citation information. We need to indicate that this is a web page by including a URL. While optional, including the day we accessed it is best since it's an online source. I looked at the sections called Location Elements in Works Cited and Supplemental Elements in the MLA Handbook to figure this out. We need seven pieces of information for our citation. Author, web page title, website title, publisher, publication date, URL, and access date. We can identify most of the information needed from the web page. We'll navigate from the top of the web page, or header, to the bottom of the web page, or footer, and see what we can find. In the header, or top of the web page, we find the website title. In this case, our website is U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Beneath the navigation tabs, we see the web page title. Bats are one of the most important, misunderstood animals. It's then listed again, just above when the text starts. Beneath the second listing of the web page title, we see the author. In this case, our article has one author, Courtney Selly. The publisher is normally found in the footer or at the bottom of the website near the copyright symbol. However, for this website, we need to investigate a little more. This web page is a government resource, so there is no copyright symbol in the footer. Instead, the publisher is the agency that maintains the website. The primary agency we already saw at the top of the website, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. We see their symbol again at the bottom of the web page in the footer. However, we also see a link labeled DOI. Selecting that link redirects us to the U.S. Department of the Interior's web page. The U.S. Department of the Interior is the larger department maintaining the website, so we would also include them as a publisher. The URL is provided in the address bar at the top of the browser window. We would copy and paste the exact URL to include in our citation. The access date is the day we view the web page. For online sources, we provide an access date because web pages can change easily. For our example, the access date will be June 6, 2022, when this video is being recorded. However, during our investigation, we have not seen a publication date listed. For online sources, that's common. Since we have no publication date, we'll omit it from our citation. Now, we have all seven pieces of information needed for our citation. Let's review the information we gathered one more time, as listed on the screen. To finish the citation, we'll arrange the information according to the order prescribed by the style guide. In this case, we're looking at MLA style. Appendix 2 of the MLA handbook has many different templates we can reference. In the section labeled, Works Contained on a Website, I'm using the Work with No Publication Date template. Our template doesn't show a publisher, but it's the closest available to our situation. When we finish formatting, our citation would look as it appears on the screen. For our second example, we'll cite a web page that has multiple pieces of information missing. Again, we need seven pieces of information for our citation. Author, web page title, website title, publisher, publication date, URL, and access date. Just like before, we'll navigate from the top of the web page, or header, to the bottom of the web page, or footer, to see which information we can find. Our website title is still in the header, 
but it's much smaller and isolated to the right-hand corner. It's Bat World Sanctuary. The web page title is beneath the horizontal navigation menu. The web page title is White Nose Syndrome. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, we can see the publisher next to the copyright symbol in the footer. The publisher is also Bat World Sanctuary. We can also gather the URL from the address bar and note our access date, June 6, 2022. However, we're still missing the author and publication date. We looked from top to bottom and saw no author, so we'll omit that from our citation. We can see that the organization was founded in 1994 and a copyright date of 2012, but neither of these are interchangeable with the publication date. That means no publication date is provided, so we'll omit that information from our citation too. Now we have all seven pieces of information needed for our citation. Let's review the information we gathered one more time, as listed on the screen. Again, I'm using the Work With No Publication Date template from the MLA Handbook. Since the title of the website and publisher is identical for this source, we list it only once in the citation. When we finish formatting, our citation would look as it appears on the screen. I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you need any further help, remember, you can always ask a librarian.